guys, happy Sunday. I just put on this Isden uh, Ultralight Emulsion SPF 50 because I have this small sample. I want to finish it. I've been carrying it ar um, around with me. And I love the way this looks. It's zinc only, zinc oxide only, mineral sunscreen. It's got a little bit of tint to it, I think. Um, but unfortunately it has fragrance in it. This was a sample that I got and I, I wish it didn't have fragrance because it's really, the aesthetics of it are really nice. Yeah, I like the way it looks on my skin, but I can't recommend it because it has fragrance, but, and it's very expensive. So anyways, using it up, nothing goes to waste. Good morning, everybody. Ooh, Happy cute. Sunday. You've got your Thank you. Blue. I'm feeling sporty. It's almost like we need to Ser go out and have, a, have some golf. It's cute. Yeah, that's, that's that shirt you got at Target, right? Yeah. Looking good. These Echeveria, they're pretty. They're like a succulent with a little stem action. It's like little flowers. Those are really pretty. I was also eyeing the bromeliad. I've decided in my planner, there's that section at the start of the month that has like to do in those different boxes. I thought I might keep a little journal in that within those boxes of my plant progress, like each month. That way the following year I can look back and see like how things were going. This is, you know, cross-reference. I'm looking at all the nut butters. I've had this brand before. It's very good, but it's quite pricey. Raw pecan butter. I don't think I've ever had this. Maisie James. These are cute though. The splits. It's one side, one side is a nut butter and the other side is um, a blueberry, a fruit spread, AKA jam or jelly or preserves. Kind of gives you like the peanut butter and jelly vibe in a little sucky pack for on the go. But my understanding is peanut butter and jelly is totally an American thing. Comment below those of you who watch me from other countries. Do you eat peanut butter and jelly or nut butter and jelly? Or is it an exclusively American thing? I um, I actually never was a fan of peanut butter and jelly growing up. I preferred peanut butter and banana, the combination, very good. But peanut butter and jelly, I was never really that into. Oh, this brand is really good. You can get it on iHerb. The Dastiny, their sprouted pumpkin seed butter. Yeah, those are really good. Oh, what's this? Is this vegan? A dairy-free kind of uh, Nutella? Well, be it is. Looks promising. Uh, maple syrup. It is so hot out right now. <laughs> I'm like channeling anything fall as far as the um, mood. <laughs> Have you guys had this uh, Lacanto maple syrup? I've had one of their, um, uh, they have like a hot chocolate that's pretty good. Avocado raw honey, the Austin, Texas honey juice. I guess avocado is just, wait, why are they claiming this is avocado? Avocado blossom honey, oh, I get it. That's interesting. I've heard good things about this bee-free vegan honey alternative made from apples. I'd like to try it sometime. I was also looking at this dulcity, dulcity. Uh, low glycemic sweetener from apples. As a, this is a vegan honey alternative. It has a half a teaspoon, three grams of sugar. I kind of went with a medley breakfast salad. I have arugula, mushrooms. They have this cauliflower tabbouleh that's vegan and oil free too um, on the uh, bar that looks really good. So I have that, edamame, green peas that delicious cantaloupe cucumber salad, raisins, 
and a little bit of farro. I love these sesame crackers. And then I've dusted it with turmeric, black and white sesame seeds, and toasted coconut. What'd you get? Oatmeal? We got oatmeal today. It has pecans on the bottom. Uh -huh. um, lots of berries in there also. Oatmeal. And then the coconut, chia, and uh, hemp. More, another blackberry. And some of these sesame doodles. And you got a soy chai? Coffee? Yes, and it's not bad. I'm gonna go get a little nutmeg to put on top of it. Is it it's sweet? Uh, it is on the sweet side. You can try it if you want. Yeah, I'm racking up points on the drop app. I just checked it. I haven't checked it in a while. Yesterday I did these little fun, um, they have like a fun survey that you can do and get extra points. But I'm already at 11,265 points, so that means I, let's see, I could get quite a bit already. Is that the drop -out? Yeah, I could get, I guess, $10 worth of stuff already, just from passive Whole Foods shopping, and they have little surveys that you can do. Yeah. Yeah. The, the drop app, Ibotta, and Rakuten are shopping must haves. Yeah, I still haven't got fully into the drop app. Anymore. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, I mostly use it for Whole Foods because I don't really shop here for groceries for anything that I would get on Ibotta. But I pay, you know, when we eat here. So you've earned $10 just off of our breakfast? Pretty much, yeah. Wow. It's National Ice Cream Day. Those national days that they come up with. Yeah. It's like, who invented those? But I'm all for National Ice Cream Day. It's Me one too. One of my favorite desserts, ice cream. Uh, yeah, I really wish Bluebell would come out with a non-dairy ice cream. Because when I first moved here, I wasn't vegan. And I was, I tried their camo crunch. Oh, I it was so I good, that. yeah. I wish they would come out with a non-dairy ice cream, like almond milk. For all the for all the lactose intolerant Texans, it's not just a vegan thing. You know, no, lots of people can't. And I don't want sherbet or sorbet. I don't no. like those. There he is. Tybee, you need a little another haircut. Your fur is getting so long when you sleep it you wake up with a bed head. <laughs> He's a big head. Did you have fun? Is he picking on you. <laughs> His fur grows so fast. He's because it's, on you. it's the doodle in me. It's the poodle oodle in me. Oh, <laughs> he's yeah, so he soft. She's got some crusties on her face. He's so soft. Little boy. Oh, oh. I love you, Tybee. Yes, sir. You're a sweet little boy. He's a boy. You need to go out for a little walk about. Playing, playing house here in the kitchen. <laughs> Lammy and squirrel and. <laughs> oh, it's Arthur. Get a boy. Downward dog. <laughs> So I apologize for the angle, but I ordered the new Erin Condren planner tote and you guys, I really love it. I like it because there's no leather. I find that I have a hard time finding leather free bags that I like. And it has these nice handles and I really like it because it's nice and deep and has plenty of storage in the main compartment. There are little pouches for like your phone. There's a thing for your keys. There is a little pocket in the side, I don't know if you can see down there, for your water bottle. There's a little zipper pouch inside. And then the sides of the bag have zipper pouches that have a lot of storage to them as well. I love this bag. Um, and I really like the color too. I saw it and I was like, 
wow, I really like that bag. Like I wasn't um, thinking of really even having it as a planner tote. I just wanted it as a work bag and I really like it. And I'm so happy that they came out with something that is, you know, kind of work friendly versus, you know, Erin Condren is very colorful and vibrant. Sometimes I can be over the top for a professional setting, but this is great. I really like it. It's just a really nice neutral toned down appearance of the bag. And the quality seems really good. I just got it. So um, I also got um, a strap to go with it. I think I came with it. And I chose the this color. It's like a canvas strap. I got the pink, blue, gray, kind of like that, but you can swap it out. Um, and it's actually really nice quality. I'm really happy with these. On the bag strap here, it just has stamped into the faux leather. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Her logo, and that's really it as far as branding, which makes me happy. I hate excessive branding. Like a lot of expensive, uh, handbags I would never carry because I don't like like logos all over the place I don't want to be a walking advertisement for for the um, designer so um, yeah I don't like logos or branding and that's what I, you know I was really happy with this so I got that yeah that's what it looks like with the handle strapped on and the hardware is actually is really nice quality you know I was taken I'm impressed with this um, Erin Erin Conjuring quality is good as far as the planner supplies, but you know when you branch out into something more like this, you always kind of wonder. I have um, like her. Uh, I love her zippy bags, the little planning packs. These are fantastic. I've always been really happy with the quality of these, but yeah, this tote, tote bag quote unquote is not cheap, you guys. It's not inexpensive, but it's kind of handbag price. You know, handbags are always you know, sort of an investment. This was not cheap, but I am really, I'm really happy with this. I'm glad I bought it. It also came with a dust bag too, um, to store it in. The dust bag has the little Erin Condren branding on it, but I'm okay with that. So that's great. And I also got her uh, sticker book. I had ordered this. My mom has this and she's been really happy with it. So I got it. So I'm gonna open it up here. Yeah, it's the monthly collection edition four sticker book. I told myself I wasn't really going to do too much in the way of stickers this year, but <laughs> I had to get these. I love stickers and office supplies. I saw some really adorable um, Really adorable stickers and stationery on Yes Style. Here's January, February. I wanted this because the months, I wanna put in, I'll show you guys in a second. I wanna put it in the front of the book. I wanna put the these months stickers to, on. Um, I'll show you the section. April. They're really pretty. Here's May, June. One thing about Erin Condren I don't care for is the website, it's hard to see what you're getting. Like, do you guys agree with that? I find the website a little hard to navigate sometimes. Like the pictures, as like colorful and into like social media as Erin Condren is, I find on the actual website, the photographs are really tiny and it's hard to see like what it is exactly you're getting. And the descriptions are really limited. So you're like, what exactly am I buying? I like the Halloween stickers. Yeah, these strips are nice for the month at a glance. That's kind of what I wanted this for. The December is cute too. So yeah.
very beginning of the planner. I'm gonna put something over this at some point, but I wanna use these boxes to keep track of the books that I read each month. This month I have really loved The Reckoning by John Grisham. So I'm gonna keep tabs of that. I can't remember what other book I read this month. I have to go back and look at my library history and chronicle that, but I love looking back at the end of the year and seeing the books that I read. It's something I did in my planner last year and it was a lot of fun. And I used this kind of beginning space for that. And then I just covered up the dot with like a seasonal sticker to keep it festive. So yeah, that's cute. But just to be completely like objective about these stickers, for those of you who are wondering, they're, they're cute, they're pretty, but they're actually kind of hard to peel up and they're easy to tear, like uh, particularly the letters. I had a hard time peeling them up and I almost tore some of them. So they're, they're not, I wouldn't say they're the best quality stickers, but I, um, I wanted to give these a go, but I don't think I'll, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the quality, but they are awfully cute and they're pretty. So yeah, I don't know that I recommend those. Um, like I never have any issue really with the stickers that come with the book them itself, but my um, month at a glance calendar has a huge sheet of stickers at the back and it's really hard to get those stickers off because like the calendar is massive, right? And some of the stickers are like centrally located <laughs> and it's really hard to peel them off off of that huge calendar sheet. So yeah, I would say if you are new to Erin Condren or like dipping your toes and you're wondering like the good stuff, I would say the pens are amazing. The planner quality is awesome as far as the paper quality in particular. And the planning pouches are really good, but like the stickers, I find I'm usually disappointed in the stickers. And you know, some of the, the, the planning accessories that are really good, like I love these little sticky pads. I use them a lot, but I've noticed the sticky note pads that are really long, um, they, when you peel them off, like, like a to-do list, the ones that are really long, when you peel them up, it'll curl. And it's really hard when you put the sticky note down somewhere, your list curls up and that is really frustrating. So I haven't been super thrilled with that little issue, but yeah, I would say skip the stickers. But <laughs> that being said, I bought some and I'm really pleased with what I just did there. <laughs> Well, hey guys, what's up? I um, have my vlogging camera in here because my uh, other camera is, I'm working on, on something with it, so <laughs> my apologies. But anyways, I just got home and you know finished up at the gym and what have you. And um, I was noticing I have made it through quite a bit of my CeraVe healing ointment. I think I've been on the same tube for well over a year now. These last forever, you know, if there's one product that I cannot live without, aside from sunscreen, it would be this. This changes the way my lips look. If I don't wear this, I appreciate a substantial difference in the appearance of my face with and without this on. Um, you know, I always see these fun like videos and blog posts about like, you know, simple tips to look more fashionable and put together very affordable tips. Like, I don't know, some of them are like, uh, just make sure your bag is like, like you have a black bag and just make sure it's clean or, you know, make sure that you're, you have a lint roller or those kind of little tips. When it comes to skin and the aesthetics of your face, this would be my cheap, effective tip is to just put on your lips petrolatum. It will change the way your face looks for the better. And you know, lipsticks, lip balms, chapsticks, they don't do that to the degree that just plain Petro Bottom does. Cause they tend to have, you know, a lot of dyes and flavorants and things that can really just cause irritation. And straight up petrolatum, you know, it seals in transepidermal water loss and the skin of the lips, that's really where, that's really where you need that kind of action because you're constantly talking, you have, you know, small amounts of saliva that, you know, land on your lips and evaporate off and pull water out of the skin. You come in contact with irritants through eating, drinking, and, you know, fruits, whatnot. And 
Also, you know, touching your face, the skin on your lips is, you know, loses water very easily. And I swear, this this product in particular, this over Vaseline, it's, it's something about the ceramides, I guess, and the way they formulated this is 46.5% petrolatum, and then it's also mineral oil, which is fantastic, and paraffin, another fantastic ingredient, dimethicone, another phenomenal ingredient. Like these ingredients, they. I mean, they're like Durham secrets. Uh, they're golden. I don't know why. I mean, I know why the cosmetic industry like tries to make it seem like they're dangerous or full of like petrochemicals or you know you're gonna turn into something on a planet of the apes if you use it. Um, and you've got to you've got to have clean lavender oil all the time. You know, it's bogus nonsense. This is definitely a face game changer. It will completely change the aesthetics of your face. And you know, like this big tube will last you forever. Um, I mostly put it on at night, you know, because during the daytime I'm wearing SPF lip balm. Vanny cream is is my is my my jam right now. I hope you guys enjoyed my lip SPF video, by the way. But when it comes to non-SPF lip products, I swear like this. This also it just enhances the natural color of your lips, you know, in in my opinion. <laughs> I, I just think it makes, I, just, I, I appreciate a substantial difference. This is a game changer for me and, uh, you know, something I cannot, I cannot live without. I mean, when I go without it, I definitely feel and see a difference. It just makes my, my lips without this appear more wrinkled. They appear smaller and it's just not as comfortable. I am really susceptible. You know, I have a history of eczema and I'm an atopic, uh, you know, I have seasonal allergies and eczema and I also have a little bit I don't have full-blown asthma I never have had full-blown asthma but I do um, if I get around like certain like dogs for example um, high B is not a problem but some dogs their dander it will like set off a little bit of wheezing almost like asthma so I'm, I'm in that you know triad we call it atopic triad anyways because of that because of that I you know I have a tendency towards as an adult to, or to have chelitis related to my eczema and this really helps with that substantially so yeah this would be one that i definitely recommend i don't think you guys in europe or canada i don't think you have this product in your CeraVe arsenal but you know um vanny ply is is also very good Vanny Cream, the Vanny Cream brand makes Vanny Ply, which is also very good. And in Canada, you know, that would be um, Cliniderm, which is kind of the same brand, more or less, is Vanny Cream. And so Cliniderm, I believe, also has a lip ointment that's great. Or it's just an ointment, but you put it on your lips. And then, you know, QV ointment is great for those of you in Australia and New Zealand. And then I believe in Europe, you know, you have Cetraben, I think, Cetraben ointment. Uh, which, you know, also is great. So, the, you know, just putting petrolatum mineral oil on your lips, I swear, it's just a simple thing, really will change the aesthetics of your face. Almost looks like you have, like you have filler or something. Uh, you know, it will really, especially if you like put a glob of it on your upper lip, it really can just make it look like a lot fuller. I don't know, I'm gonna look like a grease ball now, but. Anyways, guys, that's my little makeup cosmetic tip for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.